Oh, doesn't the pool look lovely, Sam? It certainly does, Bronwyn. All check for safety, too. Good luck with the show. My froggy fantasy is going to be spectacular. The children of Ponty Pandy are going to be performing a special swimming dance, dressed as froggies. <laughs> I wish I could see it, Bronwyn, but I'm leading a forest firefighting drill today. Summer's only just started and it's baking hot already. <laughs> Pity I've got a cold. <laughs> a true firefighter carries out a drill to his utmost, no matter how ill he is. Yeah, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Marvelous, Froggies! Marvelous! How's the barbecue going, Trevor? All ready for tonight, Mike. <laughs> You've done a good job fixing that heron. Thank you. Nothing that a dab of super glue couldn't fix. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna need a bit more of that glue. Good work, everyone. Now, James, let's practice the froggy finale. Well done, James. That really was froggy spectacular. <laughs> it's not fair. How come James gets to be that big froggy star? Because James has been reading all about frogs and how they move, Norman. And he's practiced for ages dancing in those flippers. It's really hard. Uh, I could do it way better than James. Watch. <laughs> 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 Norman, just be happy to be a normal froggy like us. But I want to be the star of the show. People should be clapping for me. Me. Here we go, everyone. All right, first part of the drill, put out the fire with hoses. Roger that, Sam. That's you! Ah! 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 Craig Langton! Sorry, sir. Maybe you should help Tom with the second part of the drill, Elvis. He's going to pick up water from the sea in that carrier and dump it over the flames. Ooh, good idea, Sam. I like going up in a helicopter. Yes, and then you'd be uh, out of the way of uh, Fire Captain Steel. Uh, soaking wet again. Always happens when Crittlington's around. Can't wait to see the show, eh? Have you heard? James is the star. He's got the big finale. Oh, I bet it'll be spectacular. I'm feeling a bit nervous, Mandy. Don't worry, James. You'll be great. Definitely. You're our top froggy. <laughs> what was that, Norman? I, I, I should be the froggy star. I could easily dance in those flippers. No, you couldn't, Norman Price. But I could. There's only one star in this show, and it's James. And he's going to be amazing. <gasps> or maybe he isn't. <laughs> Get out of that so-called star of the show. <laughs> First fire out. I have to say it's a lot easier without Cridlington around. <laughs> Can I press the button yet, Tom? Not yet, Elvis. The water's ready to drop, but we've got to be in exactly the right place. Uh -oh. I'll tell you when. Let's go! Look at them bob in the water, Lily. Just like real frogs. Frogs! Now, for the grand froggy finale! <laughs> Where's James? It's his big moment! Oh, oh dear. Don't worry, Bronwyn. I can do it. I'll save 
save the froggy fantasy. Norman, James is the star of the show, not you. But James hasn't turned up. Ta-da! Ah, oh, oh, stupid flippers. Ah, ah, oh. <laughs> My water lilies. We'd better call Fireman Sam. Fire at the pool. The froggy fantasy has burst into flames. There's a fire at the pool. The froggy fantasy has burst into flames. We'll meet you there, Arnold. We'll drive Venus and Jupiter down. That won't be quick enough. Tom, you'll need to winch me up. Right away, Sam. Fireman Sam, I didn't know there was going to be a fire. Never mind that now, Norman. We need to rescue him, and we haven't got any fire engines here. Oh, no! What have I done? Tom, I've got a plan. I need you back here right now. I'm heading for the changing rooms. They're not on fire yet, but they soon will be. Are you ready? Nearly, Sam. Just loading up. James, stand back! No! Uncle Sam! Hey. I've got you. Don't worry. Tom, are you ready? We're there, Sam. Elvis? Okay, Tom. <laughs> I've got it all under control. We're safe, everyone, but the fire's still burning. Tom, more water. We'll use the hoses, too. I'm sorry, everyone. Sorry, James. So you should be, Norman. Trapping someone anywhere is a very dangerous thing to do. When everything's fixed, we're doing the froggy fantasy again, but you are not going to be in it. Ha! Yes, someone else can play your part, Norman. You'll be doing fire safety lessons with me. Ah. That's right. Thank goodness for some splendid firefighting. You did a good job, Cridlington. Sneezes and all. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Fire Captain Steel. I... Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, let's uh, shoot! Uh, Friendly turn! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you found a replacement froggy for Norman already, Bronwyn. Oh, there she is, Sam. Right then. Let's get her down. Why would a vet be on a roof? Lizzie, we're coming to get you. I'm not the one who needs rescuing, Sam. Wooly. So, pioneers, today you'll be doing your map reading badge. Sarah and James will be in one team. Perfect. Norman and Mandy, you'll be on the other. Don't worry, Mandy. We'll win this easily. Both teams need to find their way to Ponty Pandy Point 
where Moose Roberts will be waiting for you. Will we be using the maps to navigate the best route, Trevor? You will indeed, James. <sighs> Here's a phone each, in case you get into trouble. Now then, pioneers, off you go. Come on, Mandy. We need to look at the map, Norman. We don't need silly maps to get to Ponty Pandy Point. We'll just go in a straight line. Now, we need to find the best route to our destination. That's right, James. Then you won't have to climb over bushes and struggle up steep hills. Ow! Ow! Prickly! Ow! Come on, Mandy. The prickles only hurt for a second. Ow! Norman! Elvis? Penny? Ready with the mattress? Roger that, Sam. Now, Arnold, try and get Wooly to come towards you. Come on, Wooly. Get over here. Come on. Over here. Yes. No, Arnold. Animals get really scared by raised voices. They think you're telling them off. The most important thing in any animal rescue is keeping the animal calm. Oh, OK. Sorry. Right, uh, Wooly, um, it's not very sensible to be on a roof, you being a sheep and everything. That's better, Arnold. Come on, Wooly, one hoof in front of the other. Gotcha! Whoa! <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I thought we were here to catch a sheep, not a fireman. <laughs> going this way, Norman. So we can beat Sarah and James. Now all we have to do is... How did they get there? We need to get ahead of them, quick! Norman, it's really dangerous to run down a steep hill. It's fine. Don't be such a babe. Hey! Ah, 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 whoa! Ah, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, ah. whoa. Great shortcut, hey, Mandy? If you like skin knees and mud all over your bottom. Huh? How is he doing this? Shh. Norman, you'll frighten the horse. The horse? Oh. Come on, then, Wooly. There you go. Gotcha. Well done, Sam. It wasn't just me, Lizzie. We're a team. Well, I didn't really do anything. You did? I did? Yes. You did a great big belly flop into the mattress. <laughs> mm. Come on, Mandy. We can ride the horse to Ponty Pandy Point. We'll easily beat James then. But I can't ride a horse. Neither can I. But how hard can it be? It doesn't even have a saddle. Riding a horse is easy, Mandy. You just have to get on and say, giddy up, I've seen it on TV. Ugh, there is no way I'm getting on that horse. It's dangerous. There is nothing dangerous about being on this horse. Ah! Ah! Looks pretty dangerous to me. So much for your silly map. I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to win. Ah, wait. Where are you going, Orsie? Orsie! is stuck on a horse, which is stuck in some thick, sticky mud. Roger that, sir. Tell Ellie to bring Phoenix and meet us there. It 
It's an animal rescue, so we'll need you to come along too, Lizzie. Okay. And I'll need someone else. Arnold. Huh? Come on, let's go. Ellie, remember to turn your siren off so you don't scare the horse. Roger that, Sam. Turn me off! This is nothing like it is on the TV. Close as you can, Ellie. I'll get Norman to safety, and then we'll need to get the horse in the harness. Arnold, can you keep it calm? Me? You can do it, Arnold. <laughs> now, don't you worry about anything. Yeah. Don't worry, Norman. I've got you. Phoenix will get you out. Well, when I say Phoenix, technically speaking, it's a purpose-built 4x4 off-road vehicle. giving me another chance, Sam. You did really well, Arnold. You could come and work for me anytime. Ahem. <clears throat> Is there anything you want to say, Norman? Yes. If it wasn't for that silly horse, I would have won. I mean, I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. I just wanted to beat James. But you didn't, though, Norman, eh? The badge goes to whoever used their map correctly. Well done, James. You are totally awesome. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me, Sarah. I don't believe it. Why is it always James? Ow, my name's James. I've got a map. Uh, Arnold, we might need you to calm something else down. <laughs> I can navigate. I can estimate our position using this map. <laughs> It's fantastic, Joe. Sam will love it. It looks just like the real Jupiter. How does it work, Dad? <laughs> I just push the throttle forward and it goes faster. Oh no, here comes Sam. <laughs> he mustn't see his present before his birthday party tonight or it'll spoil the surprise. <laughs> Hello. Uh, hi, Sam. Sam. <laughs> Hello, uh, everyone. Uh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> uh, I'm just so excited it's your birthday, Sam. <laughs> whoa! <laughs> well, I'm very excited it's my birthday too, Joe. Oh, uh, woo hoo me too, Sam. Uh, really excited. And I just remembered Dillis is making you a big cake. Well, oh, that's all very nice. Uh, I think I should get back to the station. <laughs> Bye! Bye. Sam. You really are the most embarrassing dad ever! Come on, you like it really. <laughs> Let's go and have a cold drink. Now keep an eye on this, girls. We will, Dad. At least you didn't pretend to be cheering on Dillis's cake. And what better way to do that than by having some fun with it? What? Uh, maybe, maybe we should be... <gasps> Careful! Uh -huh. Do you need some help with those, sir? 
Oh, no, sir. It's your birthday. You just sit down and have a rest. I'll test these. Yes. Well, all right, sir. Sure, you don't need some help, sir. I'm fine, Sam. Yep. Oh, you just relax. I'll try, sir. I'll try. So, what do you think, James? I think it's really unfair that you called me here to fix it, but you didn't call me here when you were going to play with it. That's because you're so brilliant at fixing things. Hmm. Glue. Screwdriver. Pliers. That should do it. I said you were brilliant at fixing things. And I'll be the one to test it. Well done, James. It's driving really well. Uh, it may be driving really well, but I can't make it stop. The throttle's stuck. Oh, no. If we don't get it back, Uncle Sam won't have a birthday present. Quick, Hannah. Follow that fire engine. Whoa! Oh. Sam? <laughs> Sam? Sam? <laughs> Sam! Ah! What is it, Elvis? Don't you think we should go and help fire Captain Steele? Great tangled hoses! Are you sure you're okay, sir? Uh, oh, yeah, yes, thank you, Sam. All fine. Just relaxed. Oh! Ah, ah. Oh! Apparently, he's fine. Careful, James! I'm trying to be careful! Ah! Oh, Sam is going to love his cake! Oh, my! Someone shrunk Jupiter! Ah! Catch this one. You haven't managed to catch one yet, Norman. If I don't catch this one, you can have my best propeller hat. Okay. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I was supposed to catch that. It's normally me that does that. Oh no, Mandy, throw them a life ring. Oh, uh, I'll get Ben. You can't, Norman. Dad says he's on Potty Pandy Island. I'll call Uncle Sam. Willis Price is floating out to sea with Hannah and James and a giant birthday cake. Dillis is floating out to sea with Hannah and James and a giant birthday cake. Ah, Penny, you come with me to the Ocean Rescue Center. Elvis, you help fire Captain Steele. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam! Dillis, I'll pick up James and Hannah. Roger that, Sam. Oh, my cake's got a soggy bottom. Leave the cake, Dillis.
Phyllis, and grab hold of this. Get James first, Sam. I'm a much stronger swimmer. If you're sure, Hannah. I am. Where's Hannah? Hannah! Well, as long as you always remember that racing around can be dangerous, especially when you're near the water. On behalf of everyone in Ponty Pandy, I would like to present my brother, Sam, with a very special present. Not just to say, happy birthday, but also to say, thank you for being our own very special hero. It's uh, supposed to be Jupiter. Sorry, it uh, got a bit uh, broken. It couldn't be more perfect. Thank you all. To Sam. To Sam. Sam. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Lizzie. Hi, Sam. I just got a call. A penguin has escaped from Newtown Zoo. A waddly penguin? They wondered if we could all keep a lookout. Well, it's certainly something we'd notice. Oh, and they're offering a reward to anyone that finds it. A year's free pass to Newtown Zoo. I love Newtown Zoo, and I would love to meet a waddly penguin. <laughs> well, we'll keep our eyes open, Lizzie. Um, uh, maybe I should go and look for the Wadley Penguin? Not now, Elvis. I need you to gauge the pressure from the hydrant. You need to tell me when the hose is at full blast. <gasps> that sounded like a penguin! Uh, whoa, whoa. Oh. I'm sorry, Penny. I thought I heard the Wadley Penguin. That's all right, Elvis. This is the biggest beach hole ever! Beach holes are silly. You won't think it's silly when it's all decorated. Oh, I think I will. Mm, now what would look best? A big shell, some seaweed, a penguin, a, a, a penguin? A penguin? Oh no! He must have escaped from the zoo. We need to get him back. Mandy, if he's escaped from somewhere, that means he doesn't actually want to be there. Ooh, he's a bit stinky. He smells of fish because he's a penguin. Do you want to come to my house, Mr. Penguin? Have either of you two seen a waddly penguin? Yes. No, uh, sorry, we've seen nothing. No penguins here. But, um, we'll keep an eye out. Bye! Okay. Thanks. Norman, where's the penguin? <gasps> I can't believe you just did that. Come on, Mr. Penguin. I'm going to give you the best home ever. Oh, no! Why did all these boxes have to turn up? I've got Trevor coming to dinner tonight, and I wanted everything to look tidy. Now, what's this? Ooh, scented candles. Just the thing for creating a romantic atmosphere. Lamplight on Long Island. <laughs> oh, not sure about that. Sunset over Swansea. Ooh, smells a bit fishy. Maybe I'd get a better idea if I light them. Where are those matches? I'm really not sure about this, Norman. Well, I am. This will be Mr. Penguin's new home from now on.
having a penguin in my room isn't quite as much fun as I thought it would be. You think? Your room is totally wrecked and stinks of fish. Maybe you need to get him into some water. The Ponzi Pandy pool is nearby. Huh, we could take him there. Now! How are we going to get him into the swimming pool without anybody seeing him? What am I going to do with all these boxes? Now, Elvis, I think it might be better if you filled out the hydrant forms this time. Okay, Sam. That way, I won't think about that poor, lost, little, waddly penguin. Pressure at 1.7 bar, Elvis. That's all you need to put down, Elvis. 1.7. Elvis, uh. what are you doing? Oh, uh, I thought I'd do a missing poster of the penguin, in case anyone sees him. Hmm, I'm thinking I'll just remember the 1.7 thing, Sam. Probably a good idea, Penny. <laughs> Now then, Mr. Penguin, time for you to get out and enjoy sausages. Uh, sausages? There are sausages in this box! <gasps> we took the wrong box! So where is Mr. Penguin? So what's it to be? Rainy day in Rio? Mm. Or ocean breeze over Canada? Mm. Oh, I'll use them both. I'll just unpack that box, then I can go and stuff Trevor's peppers. <laughs> I wonder what's in this one. Ah! Ah! Oh! oh no! My scented candles! Oh no! Fire! Oh! The door's blocked! Too many boxes! I'll need to go upstairs! Ah! Oh dear! I've never carried a penguin upstairs before, but I suppose there's a first time for everything! Oh! Ooh! Enjoy the meal with Dillis. I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. Oh, why did I say yes? Uh, she'll only do those stuffed peppers again. Oh no! Ah! Oh, I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. Ah, you're back. How did it go? We didn't find one. What? A fire hydrant? No, a waddly penguin. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and Dylan Price and the penguin are trapped upstairs. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, uh, and Dylan Price and a penguin are trapped upstairs? Yes. Yeah. Telly and Arnold, you take Venus. Roger Roger that, Sam. Sam. Penny, Elvis, we'll go in Jupiter. Do you think it could be the same penguin, Sam? Chances are pretty high, Elvis. Sorry, Norman. Sam is on his way. Ellie, we'll fight the fire. Elvis and Penny, you get Dillis and the Penguin. Firefighter Phyllis. Firefighter Sam. Air, 100%. It's the Waddly Penguin! Quickly, Elvis! <laughs> Hello, Waddly Penguin! <laughs> Ooh, he smells all fishy! I'm sorry I didn't take the penguin back to the zoo. I just thought it might like to live in my house. You need to know how to look after an animal before you try to give it a home, Norman. Animals are kept in exactly the right habitat in a zoo and have expert keepers looking after them. And I should have been more careful with those scented candles, Sam, and not block the door with those boxes. Well, I'm sure you won't be doing that again, Dillis. Um, uh, Lizzie, uh, who's gonna get the reward? Reward? What reward? The reward for finding the Wadley Penguin. A year's free pass to Newtown Zoo. I didn't even know there was a reward. 
But I should get it because I found the penguin. What? I should get it because I wanted to take the penguin back. Well, I should get a reward for carrying that stinky bird upstairs. We could go to the zoo together, Trevor. Huh? Ooh, ooh, but I drew a picture of the penguin. Yeah. Well, I think the reward but should I be mine. Now, now calm down, everyone. I'm sure we can back. work this out. Now, uh, who saw the penguin first? I saw it. I actually Coconut to that stand. Shh. I've only got two coconuts, and if people knock them off and win them, I won't have any left. Hmm. That's quite clever of you, Norman. I'll help. Step right up for the best pizzas in Ponte Pandi. I can't wait for a ride in Jupiter with Fireman and Sam. <laughs> Yay! Well, he won't be long now. He's just helping Fire Captain Steel. And back, 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 stop! Are you sure you want it here, sir? Oh, yes! Excellent vantage point! Mm, it's a bit close to Norman's coconut game. Oh, it'll be fine. This is the best view in the park. <laughs> yes! If you say so, sir. Now, time to give those kids their ride. I'm thinking they're quite excited, Sam. <laughs> So, who's first? James and Sarah. I sit in the middle! But I wanted to sit in the middle! You snooze, you lose, James! It's not fair! It is! It's not! It is! It's not! Well, have fun, Sam! Mm No one's gonna stick their head through that if the paint's still wet. But it's my masterpiece! Why don't you just go get the one you did last year? But I've worked on this for weeks! I know. I've got a heater in the back of the van. I'll have it dry in no time. Won't be long now! <laughs> it's not fair! You sat in the middle when we went to the zoo! It is so fair! You got to sit in the middle when we went to the fun fair! Anyone want to turn on the siren? And you sat in the middle when we went to the beach! You did! Uh, I'll take that as a no, then. <laughs> roll up! Roll up, eh? Test your strength and win a prize! Hear that, Trevor? Look! You could win me a teddy bear! Leave it to me, Dillis. What? The machine must be broken. Of course it's not broken. Watch! Don't worry, Trevor. You can win me a coconut instead. Come on! Let's see if she's dry yet. Oh, no one's ever going to see my masterpiece at this rate. Okay, it's time to turn it up to the max. Hey, that'll dry you off, my little beauty. Ooh, and just enough time for a quick pizza while I'm waiting. I'll take another ten balls, please, Norman. I have to win something. Great tangled hoses! What's going on? Ah! Trevor! I'm just trying to win a coconut! Oh! Well, this is intolerable. I'm going to have to move somewhere else. 
Quiddlington, I need your help. I'm going to back up. Tell me when I need to stop. Okay, sir. Ow. Keep going, sir. Keep going. And, oh! Uh, yeah. Two more? Oh. Move along now, please. Nothing to see here. <laughs> hey, Joe, Lizzie, come and have a look at this. Uh. 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 Whoops. Oh. Uh. Yes, yes, yes. You stay there. Things could go up like a rocket. There's a fire in the tent. Well, they're keeping the fireworks. We need you back here now, Sam. Roger that, sir. Keep back, everyone. Those fireworks could go off at any moment. Mike! What have you done? Oh, I know. Ooh. Penny, you keep the fireworks boxes hosed down. Yeah. I'll tackle the rest of the fire. like this tatty old board was the cause of the fire. That was my masterpiece. I'm thinking that might have had something to do with the fire. I'm sorry. I was trying to dry the paint quickly with my heater. Well, you need to be much more careful about where you set up your heater, Mike, especially around fireworks. Sorry, Sam. Are the fireworks okay? Well, these ones are a bit soggy, but I'm sure we can get some more in time for tonight's display. It took me ages to paint that board. Don't worry, love. Why don't you just go get the one from last year? <laughs> well, that's it. Better close up for the night. <gasps> Norman Price! Those coconuts were glued down? <gasps> no wonder poor Trevor couldn't knock them off! Oh, Dillies! Oh, oh, Trevor! Look at your big muscles! <laughs> oh, well, that's over for another year, Sam. It was less trouble than last time. It's not huh? fair. Sarah's pizza's bigger than mine. <laughs> my head stuck. <gasps> Just drop the hammer on my foot, eh? <laughs> keep walking, Penny. Just keep walking. When he hears that fire alarm, Sam is always cool and calm. If you give him a shout, he'll be there to help you out. So move aside, me. 